As the sun rises over Salem on Wednesday, August 28, the residents find themselves on the brink of monumental changes. The idyllic facade of the town is set to shatter as personal crises and hidden truths come to light, threatening to upend the lives of its most beloved characters. Xander Cook finds himself in a challenging position as he tries to offer a lifeline to Sarah Horton. Sarah, who has been battling her inner demons, seems to be teetering on the edge. Xander, ever the pragmatist with a hint of desperation, presents her with a series of potential therapies and treatment options, hoping to pull her back from the brink. But how will Sarah respond? Her strength has been both her shield and her prison, and while she has managed to maintain a brave face, her vulnerability is becoming increasingly evident. Will she accept Xander's suggestions with an open mind, seeing them as a path to recovery? Or will her fears and frustrations lead her to reject his efforts, pushing him away in the process? The emotional stakes are high, and fans are left wondering whether this will be the moment that breaks Sarah and Xander's relationship for good. A mental health crisis looms large, a seemingly insurmountable obstacle that could either strengthen their bond or signal the beginning of the end. In another corner of Salem, Justin Kuriakis stumbles upon a revelation that could unravel one of the town's most intricate webs of deceit. Fiona Cook, who has been using baby Victoria Margaret Kuriakis as a sounding board for her secrets, may have finally let something slip. To Fiona, the baby's inability to speak has made her the perfect confidant, but little does she know, her indiscretions might not remain hidden for long. Justin, who inadvertently overhears Fiona's incriminating confession, finds himself in a precarious position. As the likely representative for Brady Black in the upcoming lawsuit, Justin's discovery could be the key to unraveling Fiona's carefully constructed lies. Fiona has been carrying the weight of a dark secret, the fact that she was the one behind the wheel in the accident that nearly cost Sarah her life. But instead of taking responsibility, she has been framing Brady, twisting the truth to serve her own ends. Now, with Justin in possession of this explosive information, the question becomes, will he expose Fiona and bring justice to Brady? Or will Fiona find a way to silence him before her lies are brought to light? Meanwhile, young love faces a harsh reality as Tate Black and Holly Jonas must confront the consequences of their recent actions. Their rebellious plan to manipulate their parents seemed foolproof, until a visit to the hospital on Monday derailed everything. The pair, often compared to Romeo and Juliet for their star-crossed circumstances, are now facing the music, and the repercussions could be severe. The fear of being separated looms large as the new school year approaches. Will their parents put a ban on their budding romance, keeping them apart just as they were starting to grow closer? Or will the truth of their actions bring about a resolution that allows them to remain together? As if the day weren't tumultuous enough, Brady Black finds himself at a moral crossroads. The weight of his own misdeeds has been bearing down on him, especially as he grapples with how to guide his son, Tate, through the consequences of his actions. Brady knows that he cannot preach honesty and integrity to Tate without holding himself to the same standard. In a moment of introspection, Brady decides to visit Jada Hunter to make a confession. This act of contrition is not just about clearing his conscience but about setting an example for his son. But what exactly will Brady confess? And will this act of honesty lead to redemption, or will it open up a new Pandora's box of troubles for the Black family? Wednesday, August 28, promises to be a day of reckoning in Salem, a day when secrets are exposed, relationships are tested, and the characters we know and love are forced to confront the truths they've been avoiding.